Officially, Donald Trump was not on the ballot in Tuesday's election, but in Pennsylvania, many are suggesting he was the loser. So is Trumpism still alive in the Commonwealth? Some Republicans are saying no. Here's Dennis Owens. God bless you, sir, for putting so much effort into this race. I mean, Senate candidate Mehmet Oz endorsed by Donald Trump lost. Governor candidate Doug Mastriano endorsed by Donald Trump. And we're going to drill and dig like there's no tomorrow. Trounced. Certainly not helpful to the quote unquote Trump brand. It's not just Democrats pointing fingers. When your viewers are watching this and, and wonder why we have a, a Democratic governor after eight years of Governor Wolf, uh, it lands squarely on Donald Trump's desk. Republican State Senator Dan Laughlin of Erie blames the quality of the GOP candidates, Donald Trump appointed judges overturning Roe v. Wade, and this. The whole election denial stuff, the January 6th stuff, all of it is, uh, is on his uh, shoulders. And quite frankly, that's why we didn't have a good midterm election cycle. And I think America knows that. I don't think that is a fair assessment that it is Donald Trump's fault. Uh, we did have two uh, poor candidates. Marsh Garingi was a Trump delegate to GOP conventions in 2016 and 20. Uh, didn't the Donald push those so-called bad candidates? That Trump endorsement ultimately uh, hurt uh, uh, our chances of winning the U.S. Senate in the general election. Republican calls for Trump to go away are no longer whispers. They're getting louder and louder. In my opinion, uh, if he wants to play a supporting role, that's his role. But it's not going to be as the lead guy anymore. It's a disgrace, a disgrace like... Trumpism is alive and well in Pennsylvania. Trumpism is very strong in Pennsylvania, even after Election Day. Skaringi insists Trump is absolutely running for president. Ron DeSantis probably will, too. Skaringi says Trump could still win a primary in PA, but then added this. I think DeSantis has a better chance of winning the general election in 2024 than Donald Trump does. And both of those Republicans urged Donald Trump not to make any presidential announcement ahead of the Georgia runoff election. They also urged him not to rough up Ron DeSantis, who they consider a star. In Harrisburg, Dennis Owens, ABC 27 News.